Hey, what up, man? It's Urban Guru over here at Twitter, and I just want to talk about some real shit real fast, man. Um, early this morning, I wake up and, uh, you know, go use the bathroom as men do, and I check my phone, see what's popping, make sure everybody good. And um, I got a tweet from my brother, Hip Hop Astrology, over here at Twitter involving my man Tip, T.I., and said, um, Tip, somebody collapsing a quantum wave on your boy. And, um... My brother hit me up, you know, tagged me in it, telling me somebody fucking with my man, Tip. And um, it was a post by Double XL Magazine on Twitter that has some type of suspect that says, This suspect police sketch looks eerily like T.I. Now, <clears throat> what my brother is responding to and telling me, he said, Quantum Wave. There's something in quantum physics. This is science, man, but I'm going to make this shit fucking plain, all right? There's something in quantum physics that I want you to Google right now for those of you that's listening and watching this shit. So open up another window on a computer, okay? And I want you to type this in called observation, and I'm going to do it with you, observation, effect, Physics, okay? Effect, we're going to spell it with an E. E F F E C T. Observation effect physics, okay? Now, you're going to get a link from Wikipedia called Observer Effect, and you're going to see physics in parentheses. It says, in science, the term observer effect refers to changes that the act of observation, observation simply means you're looking at something. The act of observation will make a phenomenon being observed in the sentence. Wait a minute. If you look at something, just because you're looking at it, you actually can create an event that's called the phenomenon. Now, I did this years ago. Let's rewind the motherfucking wheel and take this shit to O.J. Simpson. Because this is some real shit. This ain't got nothing to do with Illuminati. Unless somebody is purposely trying to set somebody up because they have a knowledge of this. But oftentimes we give people too much credit and shit just happened via accident. You just have to be careful of the shit that you plan when people got their eye on you. Thus, people in the Hebrew and in Islamic cultures, and such as Madonna and them, when they f you know, figure out the science and come into a certain spiritual science, they start wearing what's called the evil eye to protect people to protect yourself from the evil eye, the evil observer, because if people are evil and they're looking at you, it can create misfortune. This is a well-known ancient science. Ain't no hocus pocus. Let's take it to the street level. When a nigga looking at you funny, you be like, damn, nigga, what you looking at? Like, oh, no, I don't like that. A nigga looking at my girl funny, he looking at me funny. He ain't even touch you, didn't physically disrespect you, but the look alone, you can feel it. So let's grow up and get into this science. Now, we wanted to tape the O.J. Simpson, all right? You can go to the movie Naked Gun, and I'm going to do this shit with you. Put this shit on Wikipedia. Naked Gun, 33rd and 1-3rd. That shit came out in 1994, okay? It came out in 1994. Now, it was called 33rd and 1-3rd, The Final Insult. I promise you that a few months later, a few months later in, I believe it was June, all right, about three months later after the release of this, this is when O.J. Simpson um, was on the news in the Bronco. The white girl and the boy dude got killed, speeded up. He was found not guilty. You take O.J. Simpson to civil court, they banged him for $33 million. And then, exactly 13 years later, now mind you, the movie is called 33 and one third. And mind you, 13 years later to the day, he was back in court for what he's previously incarcerated um, now for. And it was a big thing. O.J. Simpson back in court exactly 13 years later. They made a headline out of this shit, right? They found O.J. guilty and he's serving a maximum of motherfucking 33 years in Love Lock facility out there on the outskirts of Vegas, right? Now, his whole issue was his wife 
or ex-wife, whatever, got murdered. It, it looked like it was a crime of passion because she was with another man, right? Love. Thus, he's in love lock facility. So how is it that he had to pay $33 million and he also had to damn serve 30, you know, a maximum of 33 years and the last film he was in was something dealing with the number 33, man? This ain't, man, this ain't, this ain't no, this, I'm serious about this, man. So when I see this, double XL, and I've been tweeting you, I appeal to the moral sense of this, of you, to take Tip's name out of that shit. Because, I'm going to tell you why. Now, this is where the game gets a little, little, little eerie. The eerie part ain't, it look like motherfucking Tip. That ain't the eerie part. The eerie part is this. If you do um, go to Wikipedia real fast and you type in double XL magazine, right? You will see that they're actually, um, where is it at here? You will see that they were actually founded. Go to the history part. It says in August 1997, Harris publications released the first issue of double xl wait a minute ti last name is harris okay now you will see harris publication went ahead and did this the founder is stanley r harris okay now they when you go to harris publications it says it's an american consumer magazine publisher in new york city that publishes over 75 titles including juicy dog news zero to 60 now check this shit out Guns and weapons for law enforcement. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We all know Tip had an issue with guns and law enforcement. So the magazine that's putting an image on Tip talking about he looks like this suspect, right? And law enforcement, that law enforcement sketch, when you get to the bottom line, brass line, and start to look at the ownership of this shit. It's the same last name as Tip. Now, Tip, I'm going to tell you this. Think about this. If Stanley Harris came to a Harris family reunion, bruh, and long as he looked like you and got the same skin color, and even if he didn't, right, and he pulled up and he said, I'm part of the Harris family, and he pulled out a motherfucking ID that had Harris on it, it will get past your immediate senses of scrutiny. And then you probably start to have a dialogue like, okay, well, how are you part of the family? Who your family? But my point being, he will get past your senses of scrutiny. The same law applies in the spiritual shit. It's going to get past the points of scrutiny. Millions of motherfuckers going to see this shit. And then they're going to automatically associate tip with the bullshit that's on the cover. Same shit that happened to OJ. Motherfuckers saw that shit. Then it happened. My brother over here, Hip Hop Astrology, do this uh, excellent scenario where he show you the movie that Nicolas Cage played in, The Knowing, when he was breaking down the mathematical cipher, and then all of a sudden he saw a, a, a Gulf oil, on the uh, oil explode, an oil rig exploding in the Gulf of Mexico, and then one year later the BP oil spill happened in the Gulf of Mexico. That ain't no goddamn trick. That's from people watching that shit. And on a quantum level, when you watch something and you especially if you start laughing about this shit, like it's a comedy, when you start laughing about it, you accept it. You accept that reality. You think that reality is so fucking funny. Right. You're actually giving it a positive emotion. You making that reality become real. That's why movies can make you cry. You understand? This is a spiritual science. All right. So this Harris publication shit is now what we were called entangled. It's intertwined with Tip. Man, I'm taking this shit personal because I know what Tip come from. We all seen his trials and tribulations and how he bounced back and now is showing motherfuckers how to be a fucking father. Now showing people how to be motherfucking great businessmen and entrepreneurship and raise the fucking family, man. I don't appreciate this shit. This is personal, Double XL. Take that shit down. Or it is my promise to you, as a shaman, you're going to see someone in your camp mysteriously start to get ill. I promise you that. I promise you that. Take that shit down. Now, Tip got a restaurant that he just opened called Scales 925. So what he's doing is he's embodying 
and respecting his cosmic position in space. 925 is a birthday. That's when the sun is in Libra. Hence the scales. So as Tip becomes public with his positive aspect of what he's doing with his life, scales 925, right? Now comes the opposition talking about this police sketch looks eerily like T.I. That's the negative opposition that comes in and damn near tries to smear the great shit that's going on in that physical event can happen where T.I. can get into some shit and now the police gets involved and T.I. all in the news and it all would have had started based off of everybody looking at this goddamn cover that Double XL put out. So Double XL, I'm giving you the science. This is fucking science called the observation effect. I gave you a real case study. Look at O.J. Simpson. You can look at the movie The Knowing. All right. I gave you the bridge, which we call the bridge of incidents when something can happen or let's call it the coincidence. Ain't no goddamn coincidence. Harris publication started this shit and T.I. last name is Harris. All right. And then y'all specializing in weapons for law enforcement, uh, uh, another division of, of the company as a magazine. And T.I. had that kind of issue. And now y'all putting this issue on the front. Stop that shit. Stop that shit. Take that shit down because you know the man doing something positive. All right? Take that shit down. And it is my promise to you. If something happened to my man, I promise you, someone in your camp will mysteriously start to go through some weird, crazy shit. It is my promise to you. Salute. Oh, and by the way, what qualifies hip-hop astrology to speak on this? Back on January 22nd, y'all see the picture below on Twitter, I told Tip, if folk going to test you, it will be from February the 8th to March 20, um, to March 26th. Be easy, because them boys can get involved. Watch somebody pop some ish at this time. This was on January 22nd. I gave Tip a timeline, February the 8th to March 26th. All right. So then Rolling Stones run the story on March the 1st, which fell directly in my timeline. They actually ran the story on the 28th. It says rapper T.I. attends a label on February 20th, attends at label at, on February 27th, 2015 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Two people were shot at at rapper's concert at the venue the following night. All right. The headline on Rolling Stone says two shot at T.I. and Jeezy concert in North Carolina. All right. Now, this was around the 27th, 28th up in um, up in February. Again, you see my timeline, my timeline. I told tip this on January 22nd that from February the 8th to March 26th, a little over a month. Right. Be easy because some shit can pop off. That's what qualifies us with this information. Holla at us. Hip Hop Astrology on Twitter. And Pool Astrology, a.k.a. the Urban Guru, right here on Twitter. Info at hiphopastrology.com. Hustle Gang Shaman. Peace.